Hello there! Last year I made this monstrosity and I promised to show you how it worked. So, let's get started. The first thing people ask me is, doesn't it get hot? Well, no. The first reason is, these LEDs actually don't run at full power. They run at about 70%, which means it actually stays nice and cool. Secondly, there are like four fans in this thing to keep it cool. So, let's run them down. First two are actually in the back. These are two server fans. They cool my head. So we've got two really big uh, ducts here, and you can put your hand in here and there's a really good breeze. So actually, just with these two, I think this would be a really good suit because it actually keeps you really nice and cool. The uh, third is under the, in the nose, so right in here. Ow. Um, this one cools the LEDs. So this is a high pressure uh, turbocharger style fan, uh, and that blows the air between the two layers, the secret to its success. And the fourth one is under the jaw, um, through this, this grid here, which basically acts like an exhaust. So this pulls all of the hot air out you breathe uh, to make sure that it doesn't interfere with any of the electronics. The next question people ask me is, can you see? The answer is yes. These LEDs face outwards, which means that not much light reflects back into my eyes. It's hard to see from here, but trust me, when I'm in there, I can run at about 30 to 40% brightness and I can still see absolutely fine. Now with all of these fans, you might be thinking, doesn't it get really noisy? Yes, yes it does. You cannot hear anything in this thing. Holy crap, no one asks me this, but you can't hear anything. You put your head in there and everything just stops existing. Because this is a hard shell, it basically just blocks all sound coming into your head. The next question is, how do you get the light so smooth? Well, it's a mixture of things, but the main reason is because the outside of the suit and the inside are two separate shells with a gap in the middle. Uh, I can show you this quite easily. There we go, and we can see here we've got the inside, which has all the LEDs out, uh, and the outside, which is literally just a furry kind of husk uh, of, of the suit, which means that we can pump air between the layers, and it means that there's some space for the light to diffuse coming off these LEDs. So here we can see the inside and the outside of the suit. Now the key is, is that this is 3D printed, so it's very light, very thin, and optically transparent to let the light through. Um, it's quite an innovative design and I haven't seen anyone else do it like this before. Uh, and here we have the inside uh, and as you can see we just have a lot of LEDs just placed pretty much anywhere I could fit them. Uh, the idea I had behind this was stick the LEDs down first and work out where they actually kind of are in space later. So uh, that's why it's so densely covered. Uh, here we can see the fan on the nose, um, the LEDs around the eyes, and these are all the LED strips I use. The LED strips are controlled by a fade candy board, which also comes with loads of really useful libraries to hook into Python, C, and processing. So the brains of the costume is, of course, a Raspberry Pi. So if we just get our... Uh... Done it! So what I mean by Raspberry Pi is a microcomputer. Now, a lot of people use Arduinos in their fursuits, and these provide a very, very good platform for building uh, your costume. However, they're not a microcomputer, they're just a controller, which means this doesn't have anything like Wi-Fi uh, or USB or anything like that, which means that for a more complex project, I would definitely recommend the Raspberry Pi. So for instance, with this one, I use it to broadcast a Wi-Fi hotspot, run multiple processes at the same time, communicate over USB, I2C, and a load of other communication buses, all at the same time, all built in, for a small fraction more than the Arduino. So, if you want to do small projects with LEDs, I choose an Arduino. If you want to do anything bigger, I definitely recommend using a Raspberry Pi. The last question I get asked is, how do you control this? Well, the key is, I don't. If you have a look at any of the photos I'm in, you might see in the background a handler with an iPad or tablet, which has something like this on screen. Now, this is the control system for the suit. You actually connect to the suit via Wi-Fi from something like a tablet or a mobile device. Uh, and then you go to this address and it gives you the UI. So from here, I can do stuff like an adjust the eye brightness, adjust the suit brightness, start effects, stop effects, and in the future I'd like to be able to do stuff like read the temperature of the suit and the orientation and launch more complex effects. Um, but the basis is there and it proves that it can be done. That's going to be it from me today, but if you have any questions please drop them down below or contact me on my Twitter account at the Maraday. All the best and uh, I hope this helps.
so good. Oh. Mm-hmm.